sock collection, and it's uh, very important to uh, to match those socks with the shoes and the pants. Today, who do we like? Red is minus 106. White is minus 104. Vir- virtually a pick in this game. The total nine in this one shaded to- towards the over at minus 120. And wearing those socks today, Michael Waka. Here's another guy, former Cardinal, now with the Red Sox. And then D- Dallas Keuchel. Crafty, crappy, call it what you want. Uh, not crazy about either one of these pitchers. Again, another not so uh, great pitching matchup here. Base winner, which sock you like today? Yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with the team total. White Sox over four and a half. And I just, I'm not a huge fan. I never really have been. Even when he won the Cy Young, I wasn't a fan of, of Dallas Keuchel. And I have him in there at 141st out of 150 pitchers. So that's a good start to play against the guy. And then if you look at his K minus BB number, and we mentioned earlier on the show that that there's 267 guys uh, in this particular rating. And Dallas Keuchel is 248th out of 267. his, His walk rate over the last 365 days is approaching his strikeout rate. So 9.5% walk rate, strikeout rate of 12.8%, which is super low. And then if you kind of look at his, at his hard hits per nine, he's had the majority of his games this year have been over that magic number of 10 and his average hard hits per nine is 15 uh, hard hits per nine. And I'm just trying to think of something that he does particularly good. The, the location numbers aren't good. The stuff isn't good. There's really not much that this guy does. He's a stuff plus number of 19%. And sometimes you see a guy like that. Uh, we, we, we see it with Blackburn. At least he's got some, some decent location numbers. But Keiko's location uh, plus number is in the 26th percentile. So there's just not a lot of things that this guy does well. I, I'm not a big fan of, of the middle part of that Chicago bullpen. The, the, the top three, the setup seven, eight, and, and, and uh, closer, I like those guys. Uh, but the, the middle part of that bullpen is, is not great. And uh, one of the things that I think is really interesting about this game, and I've been looking for situations to play this game or to play this particular angle, is we, we've talked about humidors on the show but what's been happening is the the humidors. For this this has happened in Oakland. The humidors is, are supposed to in in humid parks or where there's a humid day at a at a park. It's supposed to take the water out of the ball. You store the ball in the humidor. It's supposed to actually dry the ball out in those humid parks, those humid days, and that will make the ball bouncier. So the ball is going to carry farther. Well, what's been happening in Oakland is they've, they've, it's been real dry in Oakland in April. So the humidor in Oakland that's designed to take the moisture out of the ball has actually been putting moisture into the ball. Well, here in this particular situation, we have a, we have a, uh, we have a, a high humidity, a 73% humidity, 71% relative humidity, and a dew point of 59%. So the dew point is – the standard is 50%. And, and the humidity is, is 57%. So in, in these conditions of this game, it's going to dry the ball up and make it bouncier. And I think that adds to, the, to, the, to my handicap a little bit. Although I haven't quantified it from a run standpoint, it's a good subjective add for me. And uh, so hopefully these hum- humidors are going to start taking drying balls out where they're supposed to be wet, and, and we're going to get some more runs. And I think that that's the thought, and I think that's actually what's going to happen here as the summer months get a little bit more humid in those humid parks. Jeff, you get all that? It, incredibly boring uh, <laughs> listening to that. I, I mean, Listen, fascinating uh, scientific work by him, but I, yeah, I, I don't know. It sounds interesting, though. Uh, that being said, I'm going to agree in a little bit here. I'm actually going to add Boston. I like this spot for them. Uh, he didn't mention anything about Waka, which makes sense because it doesn't really you know, matter in his play. He's only caring about Keigel. Keigel sucks. Okay, We all know that. He's really tailed off. Um, this is a lineup for the White Sox that is not good. Uh, we've kind of waited for this group to figure it out. They, they're still not figuring it out, really. They still struggle to put runs on the board. They still struggle to maintain any sort of consistency. And Michael Walker has been very good. Okay, I know you know he wasn't great in his last performance, only going four and two-thirds. Give up a couple of runs, a couple of walks. But all in all, he's been very good. 
Uh, opponents hitting, you know, under 200 against him. I've been very happy with what I've seen out of Michael Walker. Pretty good bullpen for Boston. They broke out yesterday. This is a good lineup, a solid lineup, who uh, you know actually is a bit better offensively on the road than at home. So I'm gonna I'm gonna actually back Boston here and, and kind of go a little bit correlated here. Uh, I like the matchup against Keiko and I, I like Walker in that bullpen. So I'm gonna take Boston here. You know, I was gonna ask you about the Waka uh, base winner as well too, because when I look at Waka, I mean. There, there's just nothing there. I mean, this guy doesn't strike out anybody, and he walks just about just as many guys as Settle he down, does strike PC. out, and he pitches to contact. He's not a strikeout guy. I, I just, I, I just can't. Uh, you know, I'm not disagreeing with your play here, Jeff, because I like the Red Sox offense better than I like the White Sox uh, offense, no doubt. But Walk is just there's nothing there with this guy. This guy is as vanilla as it gets. He doesn't fool anybody. Yeah, he's kind of below average as far as strikeout percentage last 365 days he's at 22 percent which is approaching average but you, you said that his stuff really doesn't impress you and, and that's an interesting observation because his well, he stuff, doesn't get bombed i'll say that but it's just it's always three well, two runs three runs four runs and then he's out of the game by the fourth or the fifth inning every start his his stuff plus is at 19 percent where he excels is is in his location his location plus is 85 percent so he's one of those guys not a real favorite of mine. I mean, I, I like the power pitchers. I always have. And I think that if you can get into a situation where you're going to get a lot of strikeouts, for the most part, it didn't happen yesterday with Robbie Ray getting 10 strikeouts and me losing the game. But for the most part, if you can get up to, to you know, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 strikeouts, you're going to win that game. So, and, and one of the things I like about using strikeouts is that it correlates moving forward. So it's a good number to use. Uh, and, 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 and Michael Walk is kind of, kind of middle of the road in that department. So I, I agree with you, TC. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, let's uh, lock this in. So we got action with both of you guys on this play, right? We've got uh, base winner in there with uh, the over the team total with Boston at four and a half. And then Jeff is going to jump on the Red Sox here uh, as well, too. And, you know, when Mark was sitting there talking about the water and this and that, Jeff, I thought he was going to go over and, and, and talk a little bit about the Deadpool. And I read, 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 read this uh, very interesting article this morning about the Deadpool in Lake Mead, which Jeff likes to talk about here in, in my neck of the woods. Very concerned here. When, there's, when I saw the article about the Deadpool, I'm thinking, oh, okay, they're going to be talking about the dead bodies. They weren't talking about that. They were talking about this thing continues to dry up here. So... I don't know if the humidor is a factor over here in Lake Mead or not, uh, base winner, but uh, more concerns here. Yeah, I mean, it's interesting you say you bring up Lake because that's one of the parks that home runs are supposed to go up. Uh, Cleveland, in Cleveland, it's 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 close to a lake, so they're they're supposed to increase home runs in Cleveland. Okay. 